What's up everybody, it's Mike from PC Classic Cars, back with another test drive video. Today we are in the 1990 Ford Mustang LX Coupe. It has 64,000 original miles on it. Uh, on the uh, cluster you will see that it's actually in kilometers. This was originally a Canadian car, so the odometer is actually in kilometers. So it's 103,000 kilometers, which is right at 64,000 miles. This is a factory AC delete car, so I am going to roll the window down a little bit to get a little airflow in here because it's about 104, 105 degrees here in Texas today, and I don't want to pass out on y'all, so... But again, we have a 90 LX Coupe, 505 speed, 64,000 miles. Uh, really, it's a, it's a very clean and very stock style Mustang. Uh, like almost all of these, uh, it's got some flow masters on it, which sound great. And then other modifications, it does have a set of 17-inch ponies, which look just awesome on the car. But other than that, it's, it's virtually a stock-style Mustang. Five-liter runs great. Uh, Five-speed shifts fantastic. Uh, the drivability of this car is just spot-on. It's what you'd expect for a, low, for a lower mileage coupe to drive like. Carfax is clean with no accidents, no damage ever reported. The miles are true and accurate on it. Uh, what's interesting about this car, again, it is a factory AC delete car, which I actually see pretty common with the Canadian cars. I've ended up with a bunch of them over the years. Uh, but it's an AC delete car, like I mentioned, and then it's a blue cloth interior. Um, I've had a few of them. The, some people love it, some people hate it, but with the white exterior, uh, I think the blue interior complements it well, and it actually has a really good look in person. Uh, the interior is really, really clean. There's a few very minor little spots over here on the edge of the driver's seat just for getting in and out. Uh, but other than that, the interior is excellent. The back seat still has the granny plastic on the back. Um, I do actually have the uh, your grandma's slip covers, uh, the plastic slip covers for the front two seats as well, which go with it. Uh, but your console is great. The ashtray door opens and closes like it should. Doesn't look like anyone's ever put anything in the ashtray. Uh, the gauges are extremely easy to read and all that stuff is clean and working. Uh, headliner, visors, all that stuff is really, really nice. The door panels, the pockets are really tight. I actually really like that it is a manual window car. Just again, less electronics to go wrong. Um, and again, I'm sorry for the wind noise, but it is hot here in Texas, so I want to at least get a little airflow while I'm riding. As far as your exterior goes, to me it looks like mostly original paint. Um, it, it very well could have had some smaller spot in stuff over the years, you just never know. White's a tough color to tell, unless you find some tape lines. Um, and, but overall, the, the car is really clean. It's got all of your VIN stickers, uh, front, back bumper, inside the fenders, bottom side of the hood, uh, bottom sides of the doors, under the deck lid, um, and inside the jam. All of your stickers are there. Uh, some of the paint in the jams, particularly the rear deck jam, um, it's a little thin. You can kind of see some of the primer below it. Uh, but overall, the original paint still shows well. Uh, all of the trim is really nice. And again, on the outside, you have brand new uh, wheels and tires. It's a staggered set of wheels and tires. So you got your 17 inch ponies with good tires all the way around. They don't have 100 miles on them. Um, and this thing just drives fantastic. Gauges are all good, warmed up good. So we'll kind of get on it here a little bit. It's just hard to beat the sound of Flowmasters behind Fox Body, man. They just sound so good. Um, and again, this car, 64,000 miles, 104,000 kilometers. It does everything that you're going to expect it to do. It drives just fantastic. The underside is super, super clean. No rust issues, no rust repair. The floors, the frame rails, everything is extremely nice. Uh, just a really well cared for car over the years. As far as the Fox Body market goes, we've been buying and selling Fox Bodies for a really long time. Obviously, the, when COVID hit, right before COVID, the Fox Body stuff was really starting to take off, and 
Um, we, we've loved the buying and selling Fox bodies, taking them in on trade. Um, the pinnacle of them, obviously you have your 93 Cobras, uh, but then right behind that, you're gonna have your, your Coops. Uh, the 90 to the 93 Coops are just really, really collectible. and People seem to love them. As soon as I get them, as soon as I post them, they always sell. I actually sell a ton of Fox Body Coops and Fox Bodies across all platforms before they even get posted on the website just due to the fact that I have such a long list of guys that call looking for Fox Bodies. This one is a great car. The only thing that I would personally want to do to this one is add AC. Um, you can find factory AC components off of another car. Uh, or you could just go the vintage AC route. That'd be the only thing I'd want to add to this coupe. Downshift's great. We'll take it down our bumpy road. All the suspension is stock style equipment on this Mustang. We'll get stuck behind this Ford truck here. But again, we're not going too fast, so I can at least pop the window open again, get a little airflow. Last thing we want is Michael passing out while we're driving a car. I'm sorry, I just referred to myself. Is that the third person? I think so. I, it was uh, it's not an English major, so we'll, uh, we'll leave that to the experts. Glass on this car is really nice. Uh, windows roll up and down like they should. Back glass has the rear defrost, which is really clean. The windshield has a, uh, has a decent little chip right over here. Nothing spidered off of it, uh, but it does have a little chip there and a few other little stone marks. Uh, but overall, the windshield is still clean. It's nothing that I would replace. Back on some of the electronics, again, all of your lights and gauges, all that stuff's working. Um, if, I, if I remember right, I think the only thing I have noted is not working on this one is your map light. Um, actually, there it goes. The, uh, I was wrong. We have it listed as no, but the map light does come on, so the map light does work, which is cool. I just like how clean the interior on this one is too. Uh, I, I'm a sucker for cloth interior on Fox bodies. The, uh, the black cloth is going to be my favorite, but uh, if I have to have the red cloth or even the uh, uh, the lighter colored cloths, I always prefer that over the leather. It just seems like the cloth holds up so much better than the than the leather or the vinyl. Do a little pull here. Let you hear the exhaust. Just a really clean, really fun Fox body to drive. Cruise control works, horn works, factory stereo works. I also really like the fact, if y'all watch the videos, you know that I hate when people cut dashes and put aftermarket stereos in them, um, especially Fox bodies. Uh, this one having the original radio is nice, and that's kind of funny due to the fact that my personal 72 Torino has an aftermarket stereo in it, so don't hold that against me. As always, I appreciate y'all stopping in to watch another one of my test drive videos. If there's ever anything else that you want to see, have comments, concerns, questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment on the YouTube channel. You can call or text me at 903-820-1019. Check us out at pcclassiccars.com. We are also on all of the social platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, and we'll see you guys on the next test drive video. Thanks again for watching.